Looking back at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, a lot of teams and a lot of drivers were getting out of their cars at the end of the race, complaining a little bit about having sore backs as a, as a result of the bouncing and the porpoising they experienced during that race. And there's quite a lot of comments on record about that. Most notably Lewis Hamilton, who had a little bit of a hard time getting out of his Mercedes at the end of the Grand Prix. Well, the FIA have taken a look at this situation and have felt that they're not particularly happy with where things are sitting right now. So they are going to step in and and take a little bit of action. The exact nature of that action is yet to be fully defined. However, what they are doing is relying on Article 1.3 of the regulations, which define car construction and what is essentially dangerous or what is safe. Now, those terms aren't fully defined, so it's something that we're still looking into, and I think the sport will develop a little bit more as the weekend and actually as the season probably goes on. However, the teams have been told that the vertical acceleration of their cars, how quickly it goes up and down, is going to be monitored quite tightly. Now, every single Formula One car has accelerometers underneath the driver's bottom, underneath the driver's seat. And there are various other systems on the car that can monitor this as well. The FI are gonna be looking at this data in order to determine what they believe is a safe area of operation of the cars. Now, they haven't specified exactly how they're going to do that or exactly what that safe level will be, or even when it will be determined. They're just looking at the data at this point and will probably update the teams either later during the Canadian Grand Prix weekend or even in the run-up to the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. But what they will be looking at is the different types of movement that create that vertical movement. So a car could hit a curb, it can porpoise down the straight, or you could see bouncing. So the car hits a bump and bounce down the straight. So we've seen all of those different modes of movement of the cars all the way through the season. So that's going to be studied by the FIA. They will take that away and have a think about it. And the teams are going to be helping them with it. Another thing they're going to be looking at is the underside of the cars. Now, a lot of people have been asking about the reference to a plank. What is the plank on the bottom of a Formula One car? And why is there a big lump of wood bolted to the bottom of every Grand Prix car? Well, it's a regulatory thing and the cars have had it for many years and it is literally a piece of wood that's bolted to the lowest point of the floor of the car. The FIA use it to make sure a car isn't running too low to the ground. If they wear that plank excessively, a car could be disqualified. And that has happened, though it was quite a long time ago with Michael Schumacher in, I believe, the 1995 Belgian Grand Prix. And he spun along a curb, they weighed the plank and found it was excessively warm. There was a bit of an argument whether that should really count, but the disqualification counted after all. So the FIA are going to be looking at that as well. So what can teams do at this stage? Well, very little. They need to understand what the FIA are going to come back to them with. And it's a very difficult area to look at because once the teams have found what is determined to be a safe setup within whatever limits the FIA decide to go ahead with, that will then be locked in at the end of the third practice session. Then any change to that will have to be proven to be within those safe limitations as well. Now it is possible that a team may not be able to find a safe setup, may not be able to find a way that the car can operate within what the FIA determines to be a safe window. Now that car won't be disqualified right away. What the team will be asked to do is raise the rear ride height of the car by 10 millimeters. Now that is quite a complicated thing to do with a car setup, but once they've done that, that will then be allowed to go and run in that condition until the FI see that perhaps that isn't in the safe window either. And that's how the FI are planning initially to combat what they see as a problem with porpoising. However, the details are still very much under discussion and under very much under consideration by the FIA. So there's a lot more to come on this matter and it's far from a done deal. So it will be something that goes on certainly through the Canadian Grand Prix weekend. And as I said earlier, I do expect to continue into the British Grand Prix weekend at Silverstone.